time of real freedom freedom you won't find in a book freedom you won't find by doing any spiritual rituals freedom you won't find by eating any cultural foods Real freedom will only come from having freedom from the illusion and the ego of your own mind turning you towards the outside. Any attachment to any physical objects, any temporary things and places. Have a sense of entrapment. And on one hand that can sound cold, but on the other hand, the truth is the real love that we can give is from our healthy relationship with all things. And true freedom comes from the ultimate wisdom of desirelessness. Desirelessness can only happen through tasting that emptiness which is actually before any light or darkness that you can actually experience in your own being but you are going to have to take the time to be aware of the workings of the mind, to have moments of stillness of mind, of just being, no thinking, no concepts, going beyond tasting and experiencing that everything really is one and everything really is love when you taste that in your eternal being, that is real freedom because 
There's no expectations. There's just being in it without needing others, without needing other places, other things. And that is a very deep level that we all want to try to reach. But this is the springtime, it's newness. Those seeds that really thought they had, that they were humble, these little seeds, they were speaking to each other saying, you know what, I'm gonna be a big pine tree one day. But the reality is that they only could become a tree after even holding on to their little, thinking they're a seed was even a little attachment to being a seed. So until they actually totally disintegrate into the ground and become emptiness, become nothing, that's when they really become the big tree. So really all of our attachments causes us to be holding on to some nationalistic or real religious or some ideology or concepts that might have been imprinted on us that in some levels they have essence of freedoms but then they can really lock you in and separate you from the true oneness and the truth is that all of us can only know ourselves how true that is but for those who are brave to go beyond the thoughts and just go into the being into the experiencing of what it is with no thought experiencing understanding the beauty to just relax and be your true natural self and when you do that not getting attached to any of the thoughts. And as much as we want to control the mind, we can practice it and we can have some type of mind control, but it will still be creating endless thoughts for the majority of us. But if we can let those clouds pass and take some time, let yourself go a little bit. For each one, it's a different amount of time. To give yourself an hour of the non-thinking and just bathe in your natural essence, going back to letting the sea dissolve into the ground. <coughs> Where nothing's lost, nothing's found. That's when you grow by going with the flow. That's when there's true freedom of just right where you are whoever you are with whatever you have that is the most beautiful thing ever so I bless us all in this time of spring and freedom don't give up on yourselves don't give up on the world as crazy as it seems there's nothing new under the sun All of the recorded histories of all the religions, and all the history books speak about, even when there was just two people, there was conflict, ego, and war, death, killing. And the only way that's really gonna stop is when you decide to become totally free, being that oneness, being that love that is beyond description, Oneness and love are just words that are trying to describe the ultimate truth which can never be explained or described, just can be experienced. And sometimes you taste it and then sometimes you lose it. But if we don't give up, we can establish that ultimate freedom I'm not judging between whatever circumstances come. That's the way it's supposed to be. I will just remain in my calmness, my oneness, my love, understanding that everyone, everything is me and I am that and the world is within me.
challenge yourself to go beyond levels of understanding, beyond the words of book, because there's people that have a lot of knowledge. They know endless books, endless theories. They can even repeat it by heart, but they have no knowing. It's not a part of their being, it's a part of their brain, but it hasn't transfused through the heart to become their being. Oh, but how joyful it is. Do you know when you see someone who's knowing? They won't have a long, frowning face, or serious face. They will be flowing. There will be laughter. There will be joy. There will be humor. <laughs> Because it's so paradoxical, the whole thing. So be careful if you're getting too serious. Too many frowning faces around you, too stiff. I was just learning today that one of my favorite teachers I like reading stories of people who you can see videos of who had spent time with the teacher, but this one student explained that in this one place where this holiest of holies teacher was, he was blown away by the fact that the place had no rules. It imposed no rules on people that would come there to learn of any what you had to do, when you had to do it. And not only that, he said the teacher himself was the most liberal, who would never teach in a way of telling you what was right or wrong, but giving you the tools for your own understanding of what is right or wrong for you, because that teacher knew that everyone has their own version of what's right or wrong for them at that circumstance, at that time frame in their life, in their situation. So I bless you all to be people of knowing Knowing is not knowing. People of feeling a part of everything by being completely empty. The seed completely empties itself of all identification and it goes into the all, which is the ground. The ground is the, the faith, the belief that all of existence is good, is one. Exactly what's happening is what's supposed to happen. And what really my main focus needs to be in is going into deeper levels of watching my mind, which gives the illusion, gives the ego, is creating all of my emotional roller coaster. Because I'm looking for happiness and answers in other places except within myself. So let's go into complete freedom this spring that will let us have the joy because the only way to cure all the war wars in the world is there needs to be more joy more love more happiness how beautiful it is to be exposed to people of knowing who are flowing who are joyful it's a rare breed but recently I bathed in those type of people such a bath There was no words of teaching, it was just pure being, dancing, joy. Love was in the air, oneness was in the air. I can feel 